All right, we're about to get started. Akiopa Jackson, please, the president of the 25 Community Council, we need you up here up front. Stay close, Felipe. We need you up here. Also, the president of the 23 Community Council. Make sure I get it right, Vice President. Well, maybe I'm maybe I'm prophesying. Hold, hold me down. Maybe I'm prophesying. I was getting to him. I'm trying to get to you first, right? And um, making sure. So we're about to get started. Um, I'm just gonna move this down a bit. Just for now, where's my, where's my, uh, where's Fred? Yeah. There's Fred. Fred is our uh, PR person. If anybody has any questions or concerns, right here. Uh, Sister Lee, I have a little bottle of sanitizer. Can you please get that for me? Wherever Sister Lee is, I need the bottle because you need to spray the mic. If you can, it's not as crowded, so you can keep a little distance, which would be wise to do, or keep your mask on so that you know we are all, hi, Sister Lynn that we are all making sure that we are covered and protected. Yep. And uh, Community Council President Felipe Ayala, the Vice President, what's his name please? Joshua Mercado. Joshua Mercado, I forgot. I know he's also a reverend because he prayed with me on the truck when we rode through Harlem on the east side with uh, Sister Johnson, yeah, and, and NYPD, right? Yes. That's right. So we're very grateful that everyone was here. Now listen up. Uh, our PR guy, he, he's real good with the press. Uh, we're, we thank God that the press is here, but the press already knows we're not here for the press. I need everybody to know that, the, right? We love you, because you do your coverage and you do what you need to do, but we're here on a whole nother accord, amen? amen. We're here because something really tragic happened, it's been an happening, and I'm not gonna start preaching, but I'm gonna let you know we are here for prayer. I wanna remind you, and our brothers, like uh, the Mahabal President Mark Levine, bro I'm saying brothers and sisters and family because we know what they do. And our mother of Harlem, Jackie Rowe Adams, Harlem of the Saints, and her entire team is here as well. And also, we just have so many of the real people on the ground out here. So we wanna make sure that we acknowledge them and I I'm just having the great opportunity through my sister Nina Saxon to meet the New York City to meet the New York City Comptroller, Brad Lander. Make sure I say that right because Nina will get me if I don't and I'll be in big trouble. Congressman Esplaya is approaching the podium. And we want, Congressman Esplaya, please come close. God bless you, sir. And we want to also make sure that we understand why we're here. We're here for a purpose, guys. And I know that that can get confusing sometimes, but I'm not confused. I'm not, I know what the call is and I know what I need to do. And most times I'm not even really doing this. If somebody else does it, I'll stand on the side. It doesn't matter because I want to enlighten you to the ministry of presence. There's something called the ministry of presence. And you, I might be in the street somewhere, but my presence by the glorious God that I serve is here. So we don't want to get tripped up and caught up and messed up because that's not what this is about. There is a spirit of Cain out here. There's a spirit of murder, Genesis 4. And I don't know about you, but I can't take it no more. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I'm yeah, serious, yeah, God bless you. Right. I can't take it no more. I cannot, I can't sleep. I can't go forward. My prayers are constricted. Is there anybody out here that believes in prayer? Yeah. It's easy, it's easy to gather in front of the camera and it's easy to, you know, come out and there's been great things and people are on their job and they're doing great things in this community. Don't get it twisted. But there's something about prayer. Hallelujah. The word of God declares that we will pray without ceasing. First Thessalonians 5 and 17. Come on, we got reverence here. We got preachers here. We got ministers here. That we will pray without ceasing and somebody got to do it. Somebody got to get away from the microphone, away from the camera, and somebody got to do it. So I have a message for all my brothers and sisters in the media today, and I always say this. Unfortunately, God bless you. Unfortunately, when the prayers go forth, the cameras go down. We can't do that. We need prayer. We need prayer. We need to saturate 
this community. We have stars and leaders and, and commendable folks in this community. And we have lost our sister, our baby sister. They are suffering right now. And we need to pray because God is still a good God. He's still amazing. He's still awesome. He's still worthy of the praise. Can I have anybody say amen? He's still worthy of the praise. If we don't get nowhere but in the Amsterdam news to spread the message, minister, if we don't get nowhere but in a small corner to spread the word, we'll take that. Two, four, seven, eleven. We'll take whatever we can get to spread the message because we've got to pray. There are mothers here that have lost their children. There are fathers here that have lost their children. There are sisters and brothers here that have lost their brothers and aunties, uncles. It's got to stop. And so we're uniting here on today and we want to acknowledge everyone that is here. You see our congressman here. You see our Manhattan Borough President here. You see our city controller here. I don't want to forget anybody. Nan is in the building. You see our Reverend Dennis Oswaldo is here. You see the community council presidents and vice presidents are here. Most importantly though, you see East Harlem Save here. With our dear brother Jackson who flooded these streets just the other day to make sure that everybody understands enough is enough. Just holler that back. Enough, enough is enough. enough. Wait, wait. Enough. I'm going to say it and you're going to holler back. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. enough, is enough. Say it like you mean it. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough, enough. Is, enough. enough. is enough. This is not fame, fortune or anything like that. So we don't want to miss anybody here. Please, don't be embarrassed. Don't don't think you can't come up here. Don't think we see Daughters of Justice, Reverend Chloe Breyer. Don't think you can't come up here and send a message up here. Stand up here with the preachers and stand up here with the ministers and stand up here with the reverends. That's what you need to do because we're here for prayer. This is a prayer vigil. I know I lost some of y'all right there and there, but that's all right though. That's all right, this is a prayer vigil. And I'm glad that I have the elected officials here that support this and know that it, they've been out here for two, three days. They've been out here, how much, Kiyoka, how many days they already been out here? Since Sunday. And so I just wanted to make sure that I announced you, NY, announced you, NYPD is here. Our ambassador, Miguel Santana, is here. Make sure somebody can help me out. I don't want to forget the chaplains here. New York State chap, the chaplains are here. Please don't, this, this part, this is the part where we want to announce the clergy and the community. That's this part right here. So, so bear with us for a few minutes while we do that. Because I'm about to get to the community and then Miss Jackson's going to come up and share whatever she would like. And she's very, she don't, she don't like the camera, but she get up there and say what she needs to say what she needs to say. That's why I love her. God bless you. All right. Anybody else that I miss? I don't want to miss anybody that's here. I know the district attorney's office is on their way. I know, uh, um, who else we got that wants to be here really with us? Um. Commissioner O'Connor is on his way. I know. I'm getting to that real quick. I always forget to do that. Thank you. Every time I forget to do that. I know Matthew. Minister Matthew from uh, Greater Highway Deliverance Temple is here. And uh, Bishop Carlton Brown. We're waiting for his people here. That's my big brother. So so we're waiting. So what I... There goes Commissioner O'Connor. Kiyoka, there go your big brother. Okay. Please get your brother. Please get your brother. So I wanted to say that um, now that we got your attention, now that we know why we're here again, if I forget anything or I don't say it, don't you you have access? Wait, hold on a minute. Let me come out here. You have access. You have access. There's nobody here that's more important than you. There's nobody here that's not praying, not with you. We're praying with you and we're praying for you. You have access. So if you need to come up, you better be clamoring from, from Fred though, because he's the PR guy. He does it well. But you have access. So we want to make sure that you do that. We have our, our, our ministers on each side covering the place, and we're going to pray. And that's what we want to do. We have an agenda, and in this agenda, we're going to go through in a very different form, in a very different way. But we're going to make sure... We're going to make sure that we acknowledge 
and we share and we come together. So right now with saying that, I was just told to announce who I am and uh, what I'm affiliated with. So I'm Apostle Dr. Stacy Ramos. I am the community pastor. It's what I do, it's my calling, I've been charged. Don't ask me if I want to do it, I might not. I might not, but I'm charged to do it. And I like uh, uh, what Kiyoka said because part of the reason why we are seeing this, Commissioner O'Connor, is because we're not uniting. There's a problem with unity, and I'm seeing it clearly, and I don't like it because we're supposed to unite the word of God declares. How can two walk together, at least they agree? There's supposed to be a unified, am I right, right? There's supposed to be a unified front. And if you want to stop seeing the things that's happening, I promise you, we're not going to have a perfect situation, never. Because if you open the word or whatever your faith is, wherever you go to that, if you open the word, it's going to tell you that it should be some peace. It's going to tell you in my faith, John 14 and 27, that there's peace that surpasses, that he will give us our peace and it's not a false peace. So it's supposed to be a little bit of peace. Jumani Williams was up here the other night, am I right? And he said, right? And he said, Close your eyes and think of a place where there's peace. Did he say that? that where, it, where, where there's peace and there's love. And he said it won't look like the things that we're seeing basically was the message. And that's what we want to form here. And we don't have to take our streets back. They belong to us. We will take them over. And it won't be a perfect thing, but it will be some hard work, East Harlem Save. Y'all already know what it is. But we have to unite. And one of the reasons Felipe and Mother wrote is that we're not doing well is because we're not uniting. Let's say you don't like a person, you don't get along with them, you ain't working with them. You ain't acknowledging them. You, I'm talking about it. But our black and brown kids are dying from it. I'm not doing it no more. I'm good, I love all of y'all, like Jake McGee says, without your permission. Without your permission. Without your permission, now I'm gonna do what I'm called to do. So as I continue to go on, say that again. There you, now look, now look at that, now look at that. Come on. So what I'm gonna do now is continue. Apostle Dr. Stacy Ramos, Garden of Gethsemane Ministries, the community pastor. Uh, I am also working with the precincts. I'm also working with the organizations. And I don't need to say a lot about me except to let you know that I'm here with you and I'm here for you. What I like to do is invite, I like to invite someone up to open us up in prayer. Normally I would do that, but I'm gonna have somebody else do that. So I'm gonna ask for Reverend Oswaldo to come up and I want him to pray. Come on to the front. 